review this video views of Transformers Age Ascension Voyager class Grimlock. So here's Grimlock. And this is not the typical Grimlock we know from G1. This is the second time we actually got a Din Dino Boss in the Transformers movie. But we're going to put him to the side first and we're going to talk about the box. Tell me, put in the comments if you like me talking about the box more. Because if you will, if you do like it, I will get boxes and review. Anyway, here's Grimlock. This is, I don't see any, I've not seen any shots of the Dinobots transforming from dinosaur mode to robot. So I think this is what we're going to see him in, in the movie. No color, just this. Grimlock, ages 8 and up. Autobot, the movie symbol. Transformers, this is where he'll be. Autobot. Here's Optimus Prime, Grimlock in robot mode. Grimlock in T-Rex mode. And his bio. Pause this before focus. Pause it and you can read that. So now, we're going to take this on the side. And now we're going to talk about Krimlock. Before we talk about him as the figure itself, I want to talk about just the size of him. So here he is, compared to full Cybertron Generation Voyager class Grimlock. The size comparison. Here's Grimlock now, compared to Crosshairs, a deluxe class. He's about, I would say, lengthwise of a deluxe. But still. And here he is, compared with his other Wave 1 deluxes. Slug. And. Scorn. Scorn doesn't like standing up for me. He's very hard to stand up. So we're going to have him bending down a little bit. But there they are. They're, they look pretty cool together. I like these two by themselves looking. I don't like Grimlock in it, but they still look pretty good. Anyway, put them on the side. Now, I'm going to talk about his eyes. If you look, I never noticed this, but the eyes on these new Transformers are amazing. All the detail that's in there is just awesome. A uh, very okay T-Rex one. I don't like, a lot of people like this. I don't. What I like doing, because you can't attach this, there's little, there's pegs right here, and there's little notches right there that you can slide it on and I like I like it with that tail I think it looks a lot better but I like I like certain aspects of it the top part if you look at it from the top I, mean, I don't know uh, another thing I he has an overbite that don't look too bad for me the ears are posable so if you want them with ears, you can. I keep them up. His head just reminds me so much of a dog. I don't know why. Like, huh? What'd you say? Anyway. And all our articulation is arms rotate, legs go up and down, and you can bend. So you can get him in like a T-Rex standing mode. Like that, because of his head. And this does fall off, does click back on. And now another thing, and this is, and they do this because it's a T-Rex, this little gray button. If you click it, his mouth shuts. And now you guys are wondering, oh, well, why? If you look at all, and I only have two T-Rexes, they all have a mouth gimmick. I don't know why. I think it's because kids, they think kids like T-Rexes and they need a mouth gimmick. In reality, they don't. But whatever. So now we're in. To information. Well, first, want to remove this weapon. Put that to the side. Next, you want to come under here. And no, no, you don't want to come on there first. You want to take these and pegs in, unpegs, rotate the heel, and just unpeg it for now. That's all. Let's get it loose. Next, you want to lift up the arms, get them out of the way, and see how there's legs right here. You just want to lift that up. Fold that down, and then you want to take the figure, lift it up, take this top section, bring it as you bring this down, the arms go down, and the soft tabs in. These, there's a peg, peg hole, take those in, and the arms you can kind of bend any way you want. That's personally your, a new choice. Then you want to come over here, 
pay the arm. They don't pay. They just sit there on the arms. Bring them in. And then you want to lift. Ugh. Go. Then you want to take the head, lift it up. Now this is the tricky part. You want to separate the top of this head. And nice. Bring this back. Unpeg that. And as you as this comes back, lift this forward. There's pegs here. Pegs up there. Just want to peg them in and fold them down. And then this you can do whatever you want. I typically try to leave it up. And this I'll fold in. And there you go. There is Grimlock in robot mode. And then we can give him his weapon. If we'll get in. Ooh. Come on, get in. Why won't you go in? Why won't you go down? Whatever. So this is him and his weapon. Show his size comparison. Here's Grimlock next to... Next to Deluxe Class Bumblebee. And here he is next to... His fellow Wave Meat Voyager Class Optimus Prime. Grimlock's about the same size. I like the scale. I mean, if you look at the movie scale, he should be bigger. But for what it really is, I'm thinking of comic book scale. This looks pretty good. So we put him to the side. Now, articulation. Head does move left and right. Arms go forward and back and shoulder pads do up. And I bend at the elbow. Rotate at the bicep. And rotate with the wrist, but the leg moves as well. Leg go forward and back, in and out. Bend at the knee. Rotate at the thigh. And that's it. So, not really a poseable figure, but poseable enough where you can do some stuff with him. Like I said, I do enjoy this figure a lot. And very nice Alba logo. With this, I think it's supposed to be the underside of his jaw. So, which is supposed to be this part. Honestly, it doesn't look bad, but when you come from the come to the back, it's just come on, really, it's like, oh, I don't like it. Out of the two Voyagers of Optimus and not Optimus and Grimlock, I would say the best one is Optimus. If you had to choose one, I would get Optimus because you get the shotgun and you get a pretty cool looking G1 vehicle mode. And Grimlock's not the best; he's okay. I got him just because. But like I do like I I gotta say I like the Dinobots medieval knight look with the head the helmet. I mean even the head sculpt is amazing. I just love this. I love what the Hasbro's doing with the Dinobots. And like I said holds the staff very well. It's just a big staff. It's like uh, it's not even an axe. If it was an axe, it would be down here. But it's a big staff, so we can sit there and clobber you with it. But I don't know. Like I said, it's a cool, it's a nice figure, I don't know, that's all I have to say. Not too complex of a transformation, not big, but enough to hey, help you figure out. So, that's been the video. this video of you. Please comment, rate and subscribe if you like my content, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.